the number of people out there that actually have the technical knowledge to manually speed up these websites are about that much. Slow websites suck. This is a fact that not many can deny, but I want you to hang around so I can show you how you can get 99% plus on your website scores through Google PageSpeed scores without knowing anything technical. The fact is that slow websites simply cause frustration. They end up losing you visitors and worst of all, if you sell a product or a service, you may even end up losing customers. Now, since we're friends, let's be honest with each other. The number of people out there that actually have the technical knowledge to manually speed up these websites are about that much. And so being in the digital design and marketing space, I've had the fortunate or unfortunate pleasure of seeing how these pros end up optimizing websites and it's ugly, real ugly. And I'm not talking about the layman, you know, the regular person out there, the person out there that hardly even knows what WordPress is. Do you think that these folk out there have the ability to manually speed up these websites? Heck no, they don't. And so let's assume that you're a mechanic. You know, you've got a damn slow website, but you have got no clue where to start, what to look for, what resources to find. And so let me make it easy for you and show you exactly how to do it. So look at this website, for instance. We have a website with 23 plugins installed and a massive amount of images and pages. If we do a quick test using GT metrics, here's what we get. An F rating with a performance score of 42% and a fully loaded time of 4.2 seconds. Now under performance, the time to interactive is about four seconds which simply means that it takes about four seconds for the page to become fully interactive. The recommended time is less than three seconds. The speed index is almost three seconds, which with the recommended time being 1.3 seconds or less. All in all, this website's performance is doing more harm than good, both from an SEO as well as a user perspective. Now, what I want to show you before I show you how we're fixing this thing is the website structure and waterfall. And this is where it gets really complicated and why most people just quietly ignore this. We have stuff like reduce initial server response time, avoid an excessive DOM size, use content delivery network, and etc. etc. I mean, most web devs don't even know what all of this means let alone the mechanic trying to fix his little website. I'm sure you get the picture. Google's PageSpeed score gives it a 24 for mobile and a 71 for desktop. We can absolutely do better. Here's how we fix it. Click on the link in the description and head on over to a site called Nitro Pack. When you get there, simply hit sign up. You're gonna to wanna to choose a package here. For the most of you out there, the free option will do. Just bear in mind that when you choose the free option, you're going to have a Nitro Pack banner in the bottom of your website and you'll be limited to 5,000 page views per month. I would recommend the business Business plan as it's a small price to pay knowing that your website will be fast no matter what you do the next part is pretty self-explanatory and so I'm not going to bore you with that once you logged in simply add your website by clicking add new website pop on over to your WordPress website and install the Nitro Pack plugin once it's installed open the plugin click on connect to Nitro Pack now, you also have the option to do this manually if you know what the site ID and the secret key is uh, which is available in the Nitro Pack backend. Awesome, so the hardest part is done and all that's left to do is to optimize the website by doing the following. Inside of Nitro Pack, click settings and move the slider to ludicrous. Now I usually just select the minify HTML and uh, hit save settings. I then go to the cache warmup and ensure it's enabled. The last thing you wanna do is enable HTML compression inside of your WordPress and boom, that's it, you're done. Open your website on desktop or mobile, browse around, wait for the caching to update. So remember the site that we had a look at right in the start of this video? Here's what we have after the Nitro Pack's been enabled. GT Metrics now gives us an A for performance with a score of 99%. Our time to interactive score jumped up to 1.6 seconds and our speed index is sitting pretty at 1.1 seconds. As for Google's page speed index, we now have a mobile score of 82 and a desktop score of a 100 out of 100. Try doing this manually. Now, I don't want you to get overwhelmed by trying to find the best all-round caching plugin or speed plugin out there. 
only to be overwhelmed furthermore by having to set all of the different settings just to get amazing results. Simply install Nitro Pack, click a few buttons and go on with your life. And I'd love for you to share your results uh, with me, good or bad. All the links will be in the description below. I'm Rue and I hope this was helpful. Until we meet again, peace out.